Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We are doing something that is quickly becoming one of our probably biggest and uh, probably one of our most popular segments on this show, which is a first impressions video. I've recently hauled a whole bunch of stuff from Ulta. I've spent a ton of money there. I got a lot of rewards points. I'm still fighting them for the last orders because they just didn't ever give them to me and I was like, why not? I did want to go ahead and start reviewing some of the stuff that I think is going to be really useful for you guys to hear before a lot of people will be reviewing it because this is a holiday collection that was released from Too Faced. I purchased pretty much the entire holiday collection minus one or two lip kits just because I'm not a huge fan of lip stuff. But this is the, I threw away the box and I don't remember what they called this. It's the one that looks like this. It's the only one that looks like this. Um, I think it's something gingerbread, I don't remember. Um, but it is a full eye and face kit all bundled up really adorably with this little gingerbread female right here. Basically it's a star so you open it up and inside you have everything you could possibly want to create a full face and eye look. So um, I'm going to use it to do my bronzer, my highlight, my blush, and all of my eye look today. That way you guys can get an idea of whether or not this is actually a good purchase. It was relatively inexpensive considering how much you got with the kit. I have a very love-hate relationship with Too Faced. Most of the time I really like their stuff and I like their holiday collections. I've had a couple experiences where I feel like they were um, beautiful and then when you use them they were not practical. So hopefully that's not how we feel about this one, but without any more ramblings we are going to jump into the good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Chestnut Roasting, which is the bronzing shade that they have included in this palette. I'm going to use it for my contour. And it seems, it seems very orange, which I'm not opposed to. It seems to be blending out nicely, so that's not a bad thing. It does have a very like gingerbread feel to the color, so I kind of like that. And then we are going to go in with Up To Snow Good, which is the darker blush shade. It's kind of a berry color. And I think it's going to work a little bit better today with like the vibe I've got going on. It's very Christmassy what I'm wearing. The blush I felt like made of, might have been a little streaky. And maybe that's partially like the shape of the packaging because it's in a triangle. So it might have just been harder for me to get my brush in there and get like a good amount on there. It's not bad. It's a pretty color. And now for the highlight, I'm going to do Let It Glow, which is um, the darker highlight shade as well. I'm going to do that just because we went in with a darker blush shade. I think it'll play off better. Oh, and that's actually really pretty. I like that a lot. It's like a very toasted looking highlighter shade. So it's a warm, warm color, but not too much so that I think like lighter skin tones won't be able to pull it off. I think it's it's a very workable color. And of course, once you blend it out, it should look a lot um, more natural as well. All right, so that's what the face look is looking like. It's pretty subdued. Um, I, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of maybe the way it kind of blended out, but it's not, it's not bad. Um, we'll see how the eye colors look. Overall, I would say if you're looking for a cute holiday kit, it probably is a good option for you. I don't know. The, my favorite part of the face part would definitely be the highlighter is what I would say. Um, the highlighter, I really, really like the blush and the bronzer kind of like meh. Okay. So now going in with the eye look, I'm going to do, I think because of what I'm wearing today, I'm actually going to go in with Feliz Navidad, which is like this really pretty green, green sparkle color. Um, I think we're going to do that as the um, main glitter shade. But the, the downside to this palette is there's not a whole lot of shades that kind of complement that. Like that's the only green one in there. So I'm going to, we're going to make it work, but I'm going to go in and start with Rum Punch, which is kind of like a brown purple shade. And actually on the eye, it's coming off a lot more brown, which is good because I think that'll work better with that green. And that is playing really, really nicely. It's blending out well. It did not streak at all. It's That's a nice color. I really like that a lot. Yeah, that actually applied beautifully. So I'm impressed right now with the eye look a lot, or with the eye color that I've chosen so far. Hopefully all of the formulas are the same, because if they are, then I'm going to really like this palette. I'm going to go in with Toast. It is the lightest shade, I would say, that does not have like a purple tint to it. And um, I'm going to go just like, oh, actually, that's still pretty friggin' dark. Okay. All right, that's fine. All right, so Toast is just a touch darker than I was expecting it to be. It's not a bad thing. I just gotta make it match on each side. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with, there's a very white shade called North Pole. I'm gonna do that as like a brow highlight. And yeah, that's like super, super white, but I like it. And it blends in really nicely. Like once you kind of get it all in there and then spread it out, it does a good job of not being like overwhelming. I would say just on like initial reaction, this is a um, one of their better holiday releases in my opinion. I know I was a little critical of like the face colors and stuff. I really honestly think that was the packaging not being able to um, 
allow my brush to swirl around as much as I would like. But hopefully if I, if I try it again, I won't feel the same way. But I'm really loving the eye colors, like just absolutely really liking those. Okay, so now we are going to go in with Snuggle Weather, which is like a dark, dark brown. And I'm just going to do like over here in my outer corner. Once again, that's packing in really nicely and blending in really well with the other shades without me even really trying to do so. And now I'm actually going to go in with Cranberry, just to give like a touch of color. I'm going to do that under my uh, lower lash line. And I did just a little bit of Cranberry, and I did it on the same brush that I used that dark brown to try and darken it up, and it worked really nicely. I'm a big fan. All right, so this is what we've got going on before we go in. I'm going to do a cut crease, and then we're going to add Feliz Navidad, and we will go ahead and add a touch of mascara and see how the final product looks. I'm debating right now whether or not for Felice Navidad I want to use my finger to apply it or if I want to try and use a brush. I think I'm going to go in with my finger just to see. Okay. I'm going to go in with my finger. I think it's going to be the best way to see really what the pigment potential is there. So. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I really like that. That's a really pretty shade. It's much darker than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be actually a little bit more like vibrant, but it's not. It's like actually relatively subdued. I am going to go in with just a little bit on a brush just to try and get like a little bit extra on top because it seemed to be like sticking to my finger a little bit. Ah, yep. Yeah, see, okay. So this, I'm going to go ahead and say for this particular glitter shade, you're going to want to use a brush. It did a good job with my finger, like just getting an initial color on, but this is where I'm actually starting to see like that glitter really shine through. So now with that same white shade that we use for the brow bone, North Pole, I'm going to go and do my inner corner. And then I'm going to give it like a quick blend out. All right, let's try it with some mascara and see how we like it. I am liking this look a lot. I think it would make a nice like good holiday party look, kind of like a dark glitter smoky eye. Yeah, overall, I'm a big fan of this palette. Um, I would say this is probably one of their better executed uh, holiday collections. And at least for the eye shades, it is, in my opinion, definitely worthwhile to pick up because those eye shades are really pretty. It does give you a nice little bundle. Of course, the packaging itself is adorable. I think Too Faced has really a, a very impressive knack for picking out packaging that's like both aesthetically beautiful and also really intricately um, designed and interesting and unique. Um, pretty much all of their, their palettes have a good job of doing that normally, including like their, their staple line, like the chocolate brand where you have it in the tin instead of like a, a, even a heavy cardboard or normal type packaging. So overall, I'm a big fan of this palette. I do not for the life of me remember what it is called, but I will have, um, I will send Nikki the information on it from where I purchased it and I'm sure he can either do like one of those like cool little pop-up things or put it in the link below. So. Um, we'll definitely make sure you have the information if you want to pick this up. I would recommend it, um, especially if you're looking for like fun holiday look or a good holiday gift for somebody. I think it might be a nice little asset to get. Um, it was roughly in the $40 range, and I picked it up on sale, so I paid a little bit less than that. But overall, I think it's probably worthwhile um, if you're looking for something like this to add to your collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to really try and get these for this particular line out quickly so you guys can see it before we go into the Black Friday season and you're starting to think about purchasing makeup. But yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you see when we finally announce the giveaway. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.